Hello, and welcome to another episode of Labor Vision, brought to you by your friends at KDHX, Community Television for St. Louis and beyond. I'm your host, John Hickey, and on today's episode, we look at an uh, aspect of the healthcare crisis. Many Americans are losing their coverage because of the economic downturn, but for African Americans and Latinos, there is an additional challenge posed by health disparities. And we have two guests to help us understand what we mean by health disparities. Uh, first, Dr. Will Ross, Associate Dean for Diversity from Washington University Medical School. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, John. Thanks for inviting me. And then Dr. Jim Kimmy, familiar to regular viewers of Labor Vision, the CEO of Missouri Foundation for Health. John, good to be us. here again. And let me start with you, Dr. Ross. What, what would be a definition of health disparities? It's, it's a broad definition, and I prefer to look at it from the standpoint of inequality in, in health care. It's kind of like the, the adequate dose of health care delivered. And we know that for certain disadvantaged groups, uh, racial and ethnic minorities, economically disadvantaged groups, uh, immigrants, as well as other groups that have low English, low English proficiency, uh, they tend to receive uh, a a reduce a uh, lesser amount of of approach of proportion of uh, of appropriate care. That is, they're um, more likely to be um, disadvantaged when they are seeking access to care, and they're less likely to receive the the quality of care, the high quality care that we customarily associate with the healthcare system here in the United States. And as a consequence, then they're more likely to have a larger burden of disease long term, and uh, then uh, we all suffer because of the, the fact that these groups are more um, likely to present with, uh, long, with, with illnesses long term uh, and the cost to all of us is going to be greater. And so uh, health care uh, disparities reflects this, 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 this sense of inequitable, inequitable uh, uh, care. And so I prefer to use the term health care inequities. I think that seems to be a little bit more palatable to uh -huh. Americans. They understand inequality. They get a little confused with the issue of disparities. Okay. Okay, good. Um, and Dr. Kimmy, the Missouri Foundation for Health recently studied this issue of, of let's say, health care inequities in Missouri. What did you find? We found that they're very prevalent in Missouri, uh, that they affect the African-American community, they affect the Hispanic community. Those are the two that we did uh, studies on. And we found that there are consistent gaps in terms of the health status and the outcomes of medical uh, care uh, between African Americans and whites, between Latinos and whites, and between Latinos and Latin America, or, I mean Latinos and African Americans. There's some disparities there in terms of the outcomes of, of treatment and uh, in their general health status. So that's basically what we found. Um, uh, there are a lot of reasons for this. We delved into some of those, and some of them are socioeconomic, some of them have to do with education levels, uh, some of them have to do with uh, literacy. Uh, and health literacy in particular. So those are the things that we found. It's a big problem in Missouri and with the increase in the uh, Hispanic population, uh, it's going to continue to be a problem. Great. Well, so, so there you have it. Health care inequities or health disparities are prevalent in Missouri and mean that one group, uh, African Americans or another group, for example, Hispanics, face worse health care outcomes than Missourians as a whole. 